so it is my last day without braces. like my heart is just pounding in my chest <laughs> I think I'm even kind of getting shaky <laughs> oh my gosh I hope I hope it doesn't hurt and I hope it just all goes good and just getting so nervous hopefully I like them <laughs> like it though it just makes me smile like way big they don't hurt yet they told me that they'll probably hurt tomorrow the worst part was probably getting the anchors in I did not like how that felt at all they're sharp in the inside and I don't really know why this side would rub up there and that would be like <laughs> okay serious the anchor on that side hurt and so I asked him to see if he can kind of bend it down a little bit and he did thankfully because it's a lot better now yeah just the worst part really to me was putting the anchors on and in the middle of it while they were like they had my mouth stretched open I guess I don't know I feel like they whitened my teeth like I, I just feel like they're a lot wider I'm glad that I ended up with metal I, I think that if I had have gotten a clear, it would have been, you know, my lips aren't that big, so I think it would have been kind of crazy. They said that the color on these will eventually rub off. The only thing that's bothering me at the moment, and I actually have wax on it already, is those those rackets um oh, i probably should i probably should put some on the bottom one but they're really not that bad uh i'm like actually so glad that i don't have those spacers on anymore <laughs> they had to shave the sides of my bottom front teeth because I need more room on the bottom so that my arch can go under because I need more room <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to talk but this is so hard uh, they shaved the bottoms of my teeth because and I wanted to do that instead of pull a tooth out because they needed to have some more room to straighten everything because I have some crowding. So luckily that's an option. So before you go out there and decide you want braces and you just want to go through one person, I definitely recommend to see more than one because I actually saw four orthodontists 
each one gave me a different opinion. <laughs> so, like the very first one told me that I needed to remove a tooth and that I would be in braces for three years. That kind of scared me. <laughs> I definitely don't want to lose another tooth. Then the second orthodontist told me that I would be a great candidate for Invisalign. So that kind of threw me off because I thought, why would one say that it was severe enough to have a tooth removed and be in <laughs> braces for three years? And then the other one say Invisalign, when Invisalign is kind of iffy to fix your bite or not fix your bite. So then I felt like, okay, well, I guess I better go and get a third opinion. Because the second guy said that he would go ahead and put braces on me if that's what I wanted. But that actually, like, made me feel like, I don't know, kind of questionable. Like, you know, you so, like, you told me that it was going to be Invisalign and, you know, Max would be a year in braces. Like, I don't know. So then I went to the third, and the third actually did such a great job with x-rays and details about the whole process, and they were more on the pricier side, but not that much different from the fourth one. I ended up choosing the fourth one. I didn't mind either one, so that's what I ended up doing. And I'm happy that I did. Uh, I really like their atmosphere there. It's just kind of quiet and cozy. As far as pain goes right now, I don't really have pain when I bite down, it's just, there is a ton of pressure. And that doesn't bother me as much as the spacers did. Thank goodness, I feel not as irritated as I did when they inserted this anchor, because at first I thought, this is not gonna be good. This is not, <laughs> like I didn't even think that it would I mean, in the middle of getting them in, I almost felt like tearing up because I thought, what am I doing to myself? Like, is this really worth it? Because, <laughs> you know, I tasted whatever they were putting on there, I guess the glue, and it was just kind of like, it wasn't pleasant. But it, you know what it reminds me of? Like, and this is probably, you know, just a, kind of an example whenever I take my nail polish off and then like if you eat nachos or you rubbed a little bit of acetone on your lips then when you lick your lips it just kind of has that really bitter taste that's kind of what it reminded me of I don't know if that's really a good example but that's kind of what it felt like and I wanted to get a video of it inside but I just don't think they would have been okay with it. I don't know. But there's plenty of braces videos that actually show the process, so that's okay. Every time I've seen the orthodontist or dentist, I'm always asking a ton of questions because my anxiety with going to a dentist, orthodontist, just anybody messing with my mouth, and, and the fact that people are like right here in your face, that just really, you know, and then with sharp objects inside your mouth, like I'm actually surprised that I have came this far, you know, just getting everything that I've gotten done because I, I have been so terrified of the dentist and just any kind of oral, oral, oral work. I'm actually, kind of liking them. 
<laughs> I don't, I don't know. It, I, it makes me smile so much bigger and it's just, it's hard not to laugh and feel like I have something there. Yeah. So don't be afraid. If I can do it, then you can do it. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sticking around for this second video and hopefully you subscribe to my channel. I'll try to update as much as I can and also try to do some cool stuff along the way. Maybe just drink smoothies.